Have you ever heard this saying, a good Roman can go anywhere? If not, no worries. Basically, it means that if you understand the book of Romans in the New Testament, you've got a good key to understand all the other books of the Bible. Stay tuned. When you open your Bible and turn to Romans, you'll find it in the New Testament. But what you'll find out is that it's not the first book, but comes after the Gospel and Acts. Why is that? Well, it's because first the Gospel describes how salvation is obtained. Jesus dies and rises again. Then the book of Acts tells us the story of how salvation is proclaimed by those who believed in Jesus. They go out and tell everybody about the good news. So, why is there still another book? Well, Roman further explains salvation and Roman explains it so that it is particularly motivating for those who already believe in Jesus. Interested to find out more? Uh -huh. When you start reading Romans, you will notice right away that Paul is the author writing to Christians in Rome. And indeed, he seems to be totally burning to preach the gospel to them. Preach the gospel to believers? That's interesting, isn't it? Well, the Apostle Paul wants to reassure the Roman believers and show them how the Gospel not only shows God's love, but actually reveals God's righteousness. In chapter 1 he writes, In the Gospel the righteousness of God is revealed. Why is righteousness so important? Why not just leave it with love? God so loved the world, no? Mm -hmm. Because if God let a thief run, he would maybe be gracious or loving, but not just and righteous. Thieves need to pay. Secondly, God said right at the beginning of the Bible to Adam, if you sin, you shall surely die. So if a man could sin without dying, God would be a liar. And God is not a man that he should lie. So if you think, wow, sin, death, righteousness, I don't understand a lot here, that's okay. Just keep in mind that in the gospel, God wants to show that he is pure, right and just. By the way, the Romans were also fairly new believers. And that's why Paul explains everything step by step by step. First, you have the problem, then he shows the solution, which is amazing, and then he explains something regarding Israel, God's chosen people, and at the end, he even explains how you can get practical about it. So chapter 1 to 11, doctrine, chapter 12 to 16, practice. Not rocket science, eh? We'll see you then in the next video. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching this uh, video, the introduction to Romans. We are super excited to start this Roman series. If you want to help us, you can comment this video, you can like this video, you can share it to friends. And if you want to support us, you can go to our website, crosspain.tv. Yes, so we'll see you in the next video, Romans chapter 1 to 3.